Synthetic chemists make molecules. Some may be applied as materials or agrochemicals or drugs, but pure chemistry often deals with more fundamental issues in the process. Look at it this way. In order for you to take a drug, someone has to test it first. And in order for them to test it, someone has to make it. And in order for them to make it, they need the right tools or chemical reactions. What we do is invent these tools that make the rest possible. In our group, we're interested in fluorine chemistry. Now, historically, installing fluorine on molecules has been extremely challenging because most of the methods available require toxic, dangerous, or really aggressive chemicals. So why do we bother doing it at all? Well, it turns out fluorine atoms or fluorinated groups of atoms can impart very special properties on their parent molecules that are particularly important in medicinal chemistry. So what we want to do is make the chemistry easier on the chemists. Our invention makes a certain type of reaction called oxidative fluorination simple and safe with an eye for creating opportunities for more downstream applications. A major focus of this work was to find a better way to synthesize the pentafluorosulfonyl or SF5 group because the corrosive gases currently required to make it are really not pleasant to work with. What we do is find a way to do the same chemistry with solid reagents that are safe, cheap, and easy to handle. In fact, the key chemical we use is just a common disinfectant in swimming pools. So this makes the fluorination chemistry and also the SF5 group much more accessible to scientists in academia as well as in industrial research. The benefits of our chemistry don't stop with the synthesis of the SF5 group. We're still constantly discovering these new horizons that are, are now possible with this method. And that's the really exciting part.